Good morning. I am Dr. Chandrasekhar. I head the Department of Pulmonary and Sleep Medicine, Manipal Hospitals, Malaysia. Today, I am going to talk about a very common problem encountered in many families, that is snoring. Snoring is a great annoyance for the spouses or who share the bedroom. You might have heard the stories like spouses sleeping in the other room and other family members complaining about the loud snoring of some of the family members. So you would also heard stories, people traveling in train and flight, other passengers complaining and in fact there is a news report that person was snoring loudly was made to alight the train. We, why, why do we snore? Normally when people are awake, they don't snore. The snoring starts only when you sleep. What happens during the sleep is all the muscles in the body from head to toe relax. As a consequence, as we are breathing in and out, the structures within the throat starts vibrating and this vibration causes the snoring. Is a snoring uh, an indication of a good sleep? Definitely no. Snoring underlines a serious medical condition called as obstructive sleep apnea. What is obstructive sleep apnea? That is a, because of the relaxed airways, upper airways and the lower airway, airways during the sleep, the airway collapses during the sleep. As a consequence, oxygen does not get into the lung and without oxygen, you know, it can be harmful for the cardiovascular system, brain, lungs, etc. So, the brain has essentially wakes up, opens the airway and again you start breathing and again it chokes. So, this repetitive choking of the upper airway with the consequent decrease in the oxygen level and the brain wakes up. It is not actually waking up, we call it as in medical terms arousal. So, this constellation symptom of snoring, drop in the oxygen and arousal constitute sleep apnea. So, what are the health consequences? So, it can people with sleep apnea are likely to have high blood pressure, obesity, irregular heartbeats, atrial fibrillation, pulmonary hypertension, stroke, etc. So, it is actually snoring is a marker for underlying serious sleep disorders. How can it be treated? Yes, we have definite treatment for that. First, we need to establish whether you are only primarily snoring or snoring with sleep apnea. Accordingly, we will do some sleep study. Sleep studies is done. We establish there indeed it is a sleep apnea and we advise either a medical or a surgical option to treat sleep apnea. So the gold standard to treat sleep apnea is what is called a sleep ap blower which keeps the airway open through a machine. So, it is an external device, it is not a medicine. Uh, there is no medicine for sleep apnea, only this machine can open the airway and keep the airway open. So, the patient gives a good quality of sleep. The most common symptoms of sleep apnea are one is loud snoring, choking spells during the sleep, going to the loo in the night. Uh, and when you wake up, you do not feel fresh or unrefreshing sleep and daytime sleepiness like driving, watching TV or you are sitting and doing nothing at home. So, all these are cause uh, are the symptoms of severe OSA. Get If you have any of those symptoms, consult a pulmonologist who has specialized in sleep apnea to diagnose and treat you. I hope this information was useful to you. If you have any queries, unanswered questions, you can send your comments on the question box. So, we will answer to you as soon as possible.